Good morning, this is Josh Barnett providing more additional free training. So today is Josh's Jumpstart. Today we're going to be talking about if you're in sales or you're self-employed or you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to find more customers, more clients, and the customer tells you, I don't need your product. I don't need your service. And so today we're going to talk about how to overcome that. Because has that ever happened to you? Have you ever had something where you going over and you're talking to somebody, you want to help them see the benefit of buying your product or your service, and that's what they tell you. They tell you, uh, I'm good. I, I, don't, I don't see a need that I need to buy that. So number one is that's usually not the real concern. And so what I want to do a brief training on today is what I like to call the sales track. Okay, This has always been one of my favorite trainings because Imagine right here, these, you ever been to a, a, a high school football game? What do you always have on one side? You always have the bleachers, right? And then down here, what do you have around the football stadium? You have the track that goes around the track. And so what you have here is along, you have little hurdles that you gotta jump over. And right here at the beginning, is the start line. And so what a lot of sales reps will do when they're brand new starting out is they get Jojo the Circus Clown, they're so excited, and they'll go through their entire approach really, really fast. And so here's the sales rep over here, and he or she, is, they're like, go! And they go through their approach, they're running along, and they jump over the hurdle, they come down here and they jump over the next hurdle, they come over, they jump over the next hurdle, and before you know it, They've gone on the whole thing and they come to the track and they say, they, they do the closer. So when can we get you started with our product or service? And guess where the customer is? They have not been going around the track with you. He or she is still sitting over here on the sidelines. They're sitting on the bleachers and they're watching you. And man, they're like, oh, look at him go. Look at her go. Wow, she's jumping over all the hurdles. She's going through the entire presentation. She's doing such a good job at the very end. You know, do you have a business card? Do you, do you have a flyer? Because I'm, I'm, I'm good. I, I don't see a need to buy your product or your service. I'm good. Have you heard that before? Have you heard the customer tell you, I don't need your product or your service? The reality is, is if you are hearing those words come out of your client's mouth, that's really good feedback. And generally the feedback is they have been sitting on the sidelines or sitting on the bleachers, watch you go round and around, round and around. And you have been going around the track alone. So how do we get them involved so we don't hear, don't see a need, or I don't need to buy your product or service? Is you involve them, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna write the tricks right here. So number one is you involve the customer. Involve the customer. How do you do that, Josh? How do I involve them? How do I get them from off the bleachers onto the track to do the sales track? How do I do this mystical illusion of influence to get them from there over to here? It's very simple. Anytime you meet a new prospect, you've got to find a way to capture their attention. Maybe it's a bold statement. Maybe it's a, uh, an amount of money that you can save them. Or it's a new, a new benefit that they'll take or a new feature your product does, but you explain how it will benefit them. Okay? So you've got to be able to capture their attention. So when you knock on doors, one thing that we've trained our door-to-door -door sales reps is within the first 60 seconds, you need to be in the buddy stance. What does that mean, Josh? Well, in the animal kingdom, when two deers want to fight, okay, they're like this, how do they stand against each other? I look like a devil, not a deer, huh? Okay, maybe this is like a deer. Okay, how do they stand? They're very confrontational, so it's like, if the person's right here, it's like, you square up against them, okay? It's me versus you. That's a universal sign anywhere in the world, in any culture, even with animals. Shoulder to shoulder, squared up, me against you, me versus you, okay, bring it on. What we do instead is we come to the side of them and literally go shoulder to shoulder, and then I like to have show them 
what it is that we're doing. Show the name of the company. And I'm leaning, and I'm not necessarily touching their shoulder, but I'm like close enough to where I'm in the buddy stance and I'm showing them. And I like to circle something, uh, something that j captures their attention. So they're like, wow, you can save me some money. Or wow, that is a cool feature. And then I explain how that feature directly benefits them. And then, so you need to involve them. Then number two, ask them uh, questions to help them see the benefit. Okay? So if you're with a company that's maybe offering a better, a better price, and then you, so you can say, hey, you know what? Your company, you're probably paying maybe this price. If we can do it for less, you could save 10 bucks a month off your bill, 120 a year. That's a feature. The benefit is, what would you do with an extra $120 a year? Would you take your wife to dinner? Maybe talking to the wife, maybe take your husband to dinner, or maybe you just go buy yourself some shoes, or go get your nails done, your hair did, whatever it is, but you gotta capture their attention by talking about something emotional. Because when people buy, they don't buy for logical reasons. They buy for emotional reasons, and then you later justify it with logic. So I always teach my sales reps to always involve the customer by asking them questions and then help them see the benefits. So if you're saving them money, don't just talk about money, that's logical, but get to know them and find out what is it they like to do. Are you a bowler, sir? You look like a bowler. What does that even mean? I don't know, but just build some rapport with them. Or, hey ma'am, uh, I love your yard. You look like a, uh, you got a green thumb. If we were to save you $10 a month or 120 a year, what would you do with all that money? Would, would you probably buy more flowers? Maybe we'll buy one of those little troll things with the little, the little gnomes? I mean, find something, help them spend the money that they're going to save. Or if it's an investment, you're, it's a product or a service, help them see, have them tell you how that will benefit them. By doing that, you'll get them off the bleachers on the track, and then number three is reference. Reference the the hobby. Okay, so if he's a if he's a a bowler, for me, every single time that I go through my different approach, I would somehow bring it back to bowling. Like, hey, then again, by buying our product and service, you'll be able to be a better bowler. Or by buying our, our, our systems, whatever, you'll, you'll be able to enjoy more time bowling. You can take your boss bowling and, and impress him with your wow ability of being an amazing bowler. And bring it back. It keeps it fun. It keeps it light. And now you're touching on something that they actually care about. And you're helping them see the benefit. Okay? Help them see the benefit. Everybody purchases for two reasons. Okay? Here, here's the bonus thing. Okay? Pleasure and pain. So write that down at home, pleasure and pain. And you have to be able to help your customers see that by buying your product or your service, you're helping them experience more pleasure. Life will be better. The birds are gonna sing. Your wife will be so excited when you come home from work. Your husband is gonna be so pleased with how the house is going, or, 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 or vice versa. Um, everything is gonna be awesome. Life will be bliss because you've purchased this product or this service. Help them see the pleasure. Life will be amazing because of them buying this product or service from you. And if not, help them see the pain. Gosh, you don't even have any product or service? Wow, so you have to risk your life to drive all the way across town, dodging cars, hoping you don't get kicked. There's teenagers out there texting while they drive. So you can take your own maybe trash to the dump or whatever, or like you don't have an, an alarm system and you have to like protect your own house with those little screws on the doors or like a bat by the door, like help them see the pain by not buying your product or service. It's gonna be painful. Their life is gonna be really risky. It's gonna be a challenge because they didn't buy your product. They didn't buy your service. Therefore, amplify the pain. And if you ask good questions, they eventually will tell you like, yeah, I guess it is kind of inconvenient. And when they tell you that one problem, 
blow that up, make it a huge deal and find a big bucket of salt and pour it on there and just help and make it sting and like, oh, it hurts. Oh, I, you're right. I can't live this way anymore. And you tell them, you don't deserve this. You deserve better. You deserve this product. You deserve this service. And then help them see that their, their life is extremely painful in the current situation they're in right now and that they will experience this euphoria, this amazing joy and happiness and, and utter bliss this pleasure by buying your product or your service. I promise you, by doing these things, okay, you won't have people saying, I don't see a need. Because you will have not ran around the track all by yourself, you will have engaged the customer to get off the bleachers, to come down to the track, and then go through the sales process with you along the whole way. People always ask, Josh, how do I know if they're following along my sales approach the whole way? Do you wanna know the answer? I'll give it to you. Ask questions. Ask questions. Think about when you were a kid, when you were in high school. How did a teacher want to know if you were paying attention? They asked questions. Okay? Same thing. You do your first part and you ask them a question. Okay? Don't ask a yes or no question. Ask them an open-ended question so that they can answer and you can like, oh yeah, and help them. So involve them. Ask them questions along the way. Involve the customer. Number two, ask questions to help them see the benefits. Instead of you telling the benefit, maybe ask them, sir or ma'am, if you were to buy a product or a service, how do you think this would benefit you? How do you think your business would be smoother by having these systems, by having these processes? Ma'am, sir, how do you think your home would be easier, your life would be more efficient here in your home by having this product or service in your home? Instead of telling them the benefit, why don't you ask them? Because when it comes from their mouth, when it comes from their mind, their heart, they're going to remember it more and it will have more meaning. So ask them what the benefits will be and then they'll tell you. Number three is refer, re refer to a hobby. Make it like, connect them like they're a real human being and use that throughout the whole thing because professional salespeople don't do that, okay? Casual people do that and you're a friend. Okay, do these things, I promise you, you, your business will explode, your sales will explode, uh, everything's gonna be awesome. You'll experience this pleasure in your life because people will start saying yes a lot more often. The pain of the nose, all those pain are gonna go away because you will be using these same systems. This is Josh Barnett signing off. Hope you have a great day. Hope you find this meaningful and I hope it helps you in your day to day. Thank you very much for tuning in. Tune in next time for more trips, tips and techniques on how you can accelerate your achievement. Barnett Training Group signing off. Thank you.